And yeah, just basically ask me any questions All I've right. got, and then I'll, I'll try and answer them type of stuff. Yeah. Just make it as informative as we can. Let's see, the group here. Like, yep. yep. Oh, it's a bit Yep, so just place it on the bench with uh, those those faces down so it can oh, roll. Okay. Yep, perfect. Alright, it. Some big copper staples there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull through them. Instruction manual there, uh, yep. boiler test certificate, so pull all that out of the way. The best way to lift this out all in one or uh, yeah, take take the end um, pieces out. So you, yeah, that one will be the easiest to get out. Yep. And um take yeah. Take the um, accessories box off. Fills out handles and yep, hex pins. Um, take the polystyrene off the top of the drip tray and probably the cardboard as well. Um, or is it wrapped on? It's wrapped on there, maybe. Okay, so just lift the hollow out and up. put it where you want it. Just as well. It's <laughs> pretty strong. Okay, okay right now let's just um, take all the plastic off. Yeah. Same treatment of the group. Alright, get over to that. Yeah. Yep, whip that out of the fluff out. So you've got, uh, oh, you haven't got it actually, that'll be in the accessories. Oh, so the filter is in. Okay, um, we'll take all this packaging off first because all of it. Um, you should be able to find an end to that. Yeah, right. There, uh, there somewhere. If you find the, if you find the bottom of it, so oh, it should be Whereas if you tear it, it will take you forever.
OK. Um, then you can take the brake out okay. and pull the polystyrene out. Remove this um, now, or yep, yep, absolutely. Um, where I'm a bit pushed for time right now, I'll, I'll come back and give you a training session. For oh, okay, but, yeah. um, like things like the drip tray, you know, off just they'll benefit from having a wash. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, just yeah. a bit of cleaning compact, you know, yeah. dust and whatnot. So, just things like that, it's hard for us to avoid, but yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's, pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty warm today, yeah. Um, but if it was cold. Um, Come up a lot easier. That is to drop it into um, a sink of hot water. So that, that should come off pretty easy. Yeah. yeah, this will probably take a little bit of time. Yeah. Well, it's pretty. If if you if you're careful. Go along there, right. you should be able to pull, oh, pull down it. the length of the. Right. You won't be able to pull across the rectangles, oh, yeah, but you should be able to pull down the length of them. Oh, so there go. Go. Yeah. Oh. This way. The angle goes to the front. To the front. Okay. Um, we try and, and then assemble the. Yeah, let's get the front off okay. the label on it. So. Take take the drip tray out oh. to get to that, so that this this top piece. Oh, okay. Right out. Bring it forward slightly. Well, you get you get the idea. There, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and with to get it off the sides, this top panel lifts off. So, yep. Just uh, that if you get your fingers under it, if you have strong fingers, you will be able to push it straight up. Um, if it doesn't want to budge, you can use a brick hard enough. Oh, okay. Well, should we try? Here and uh, just twist it slightly. Oh, there we go. And same on the other side. Do I need to go along? Or no, just you, need to, yeah, you need to get that one. So you should now be able to pop the front up. Just if you go in here, yeah. you'll get it. Just twist the knife. Yeah. 
and then this will give you a better view of how to pull the side panel out. So there's a pin, there's a pin there, and there's a pin at the bottom. So if you're oh, on okay. the top and bottom, you can get your fingers into that groove. A slightly wrong angle. Yeah, come come forward slightly. If you want a bit more leverage, put your hand inside there, push out. Okay, if, if you're struggling, just get your knife, pop it in there, and you can twitch this way. And then you should. Um, and that will later take stuff off this panel is there's some um, protective on the back panel the back panel you can unscrew so you can get it off from the yeah, screw okay, heads right. and obviously that side yeah. comes off the same um, now's a good time to take the red tag off the anti-vac valve so when you put that on there for shipping so that that slides up yep okay so now you're good there um, and then I think we might as well put in the group because I'll have to go. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're alright. So, first thing is to um, take the screws out of it. Check that right here. Okay, and then bring it up here, and obviously we need to grease um, in there. Yeah, well, we should be right actually. If if you have a look, see the hole here. That right. has to go to the back. To the back. Okay, um, but we don't need to worry about that first. Um, we can present the group. So what we want to do is that that seal there, that edge. We just want to present it onto here. Is there enough lubricant on there, right? Or would you? I think there is personally. I think that's fine. You need to smear it on the inside. Or? Yeah. I think. I don't think there is any, but. Yeah, we can we can do that. Um, so here's here's the lock seal that's concluded. Okay. Just pull the cap off, twist and pull, and you'll need to you need to cut that. Um, where's the knife? They're pointing at the small eye. There we go. Okay. And then, if, you, if you're going to lubricate, I always focus on the ball. Right. So on your finger and rub it around, or would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what you do. Is there any tang there? Yeah, no, it's just um, it's quite solid stuff. How much would you need? Um, go, go right around the circumference. If we had more time to do it properly, I'd say take off the bottom screen and do the bottom as well. Oh, but okay. Yours doesn't look too bad, to be honest, when you get away with it. So right. once you put that on, then just get your finger in there yes. and carry it down into the bore as far as you can. Because you really want to coat right, all the way down. The entire surface, yeah. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to get to the bottom yeah. from the top. Um, but your your um, seals don't look too bad, eh? But yeah, just really put yeah, quite yeah. a bit of 
pressure with your fingers, you go around. Can you put too much um, move down there? Not what was it? Not really, because that at the when when you finish doing this, you pop the shower screen off, just with a screwdriver, or even you can get them off with teaspoons when you, um, and then pump the lever about 25 to 30 times, and it will drive the excess grease down to the bottom. Right. Okay. Just wipe it off, because otherwise the grease will go into the shower screen. Right. Okay. And then when it's turned on and heated, the grease is warmed up some. Or that what What's you do it when it's cold? I oh, know. Do it. You do it. You do it when it's cold. But yeah, I, I yeah. think you'll. Yeah. I think you'll be all right. This isn't. This isn't um, completely lacking in, in anything at all. Right. So let's. Um, let's just get that on. Because if you've done it once, you'll. You know how to do it. Right, so we go square on just okay, so we're not the thing is we're not spinning it yeah right okay it's so we want that towards the back yeah or... but it's it's a it's a rocket it's a joystick motion like did you have a misspent youth on computer games? Right. Like I did. <laughs> yeah so it's a, it's a and then once it's once it's in over that taper then right, you can okay. just let it carry itself down with its own weight oh, okay okay see that Okay, and then bring it down, and then you obviously need to look up right. underneath and um, line up the screws. Yeah, and then normal right handed threads. If they don't feel like they're running smooth on thread, just give it a tweak. Bear around it and start again. Yeah. Because yeah, this group is brass, so it's really yeah, easy to well, strip the thread. Yeah. yeah, and then it's expensive. Okay, so that's. That's pretty much the deal there. And then. Uh, over here, so how tight do we do um, Okay, so in this box we've got Handle, a filter, and a quarter filter. And an adapter for the water filter. And a hex key. Now, what I mean, don't hang right, but I recommend using it yeah, that way so you've got less leverage on it. And then just do it up as tight as you can with the short lever and then you then you so then you can come up no, I wouldn't use that right, okay. just do it as tight right. as you can with the short end and that'll be enough. Okay. Um, and there's your there's a water filter. Right okay. Um, right. um yeah so just tear tear that out. Um, one, one thing we could show. Do I need to wash this out first? Yeah, one thing we could show in the video is getting the water box out. Right. Some people find it difficult, so just um, yeah, it needs to be pulled. Let's yeah, okay. Um, and then push that onto there, and we may as well show you what that goes on. So. I'll take it. Yep, that that's right. Yep. And um, push and twist. So it's a, it's a tight fit, and we need to give it some encouragement. Small hands. Yeah. But it's, um, it's definitely push and twist. Because just pushing won't get on. Put all that grease on my fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, that's one. Yeah. Yeah. Just and a tad down on the bottom right. Yeah, hard as you can. Yeah, yeah. that's it. And then, and then um, break back the water filter. And there's not, I don't think there's much point worrying about rinsing the water box because most of the muck in terms of the machine muck is in the boiler. Right, yeah. So you, you're going to need to flush the water through the boiler. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's going to flush it through the water box anyway. Yep. Yeah. Right. And same thing, it's a push fit, so just push and twist. And this, this won't need um, excessive force, it'll just go in and we'll it took probably. Maybe. Okay. Yep. So that's just friction fit. And then drop back in, so you line it up with oops. That goes into wherever in the bottom of the water box. Um, yep, that's right. Um and and push it in, so right. click. Yeah, no, no, it just sits. That's, that's right, when it's level, it's right. Oh okay, yeah, yeah, I okay. fill that up with a jug. Right. So I, I advise against pulling that water box in and out to fill it. Right, yeah, yeah. Just, just get the electric kettle. Health and the filters need to be. Change? Well, hearing depends on what you use. Yeah. Um, I don't use I don't use a filter in mine. In bright open. Okay. Um, ideally, I'd say the tap with a hair put for a carbon filter, but it doesn't need softening. So a carbon filter just makes the test a bit nicer. Feeds for. Yeah, give it another fill up if you can. Right up to the next? Yeah, you can. Screws in the group leader, then there. Oh, turn it on. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. get it before we. And while, whilst you're waiting for it to heat yeah. up, you'll have time to get the um, other two screws in. There'll be a five second delay and then the pump should come in. Yeah. Okay, and you can hear that noise coming into the boiler. The pump's dry. Right. This is why it's really quiet. Once the pump starts drawing water, then it makes different sound. The pump sounds really good. Right. And then it makes a louder sound. And then it's full lower. Now what will happen the first time you fill it, because it's um, needing to put in more than about 600 mils, the pump will climb out and you have a little alarm, so it's just turn and turn off and back on again. Okay, so that, that's just a uh, protection alarm, so if the pump's been started the water, it doesn't keep going away forever. Right. Okay, so here's the alarm. Turn it off. And wait. And no, it's straight, straight away. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. And it will start pumping again. Try and complete the job.
Well, the case should have been loosened off of it. Tighten the whole thing up. Yeah. 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 So it's timed out twice, yeah? So, so I, I do that once again? Same again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's probably because it pumped air for longer than, you know. It's there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's half. It's still full, there, sort yeah. of half, so you want to pull it up or? Oh, I, let, let it sort of boil it first. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of time. Yeah. It's more important that you get the group attached. All right, and now, Blue light's gone off, red light's come on, which is element heating. Oh, I see. Right. Okay, so I'm going to dash. Okay. But you've got my number, give me a call. Yep. Got Skype, FaceTime. Yeah? Yep. Now, should it be. Yeah. So now I can just slowly heat this the group heat up now, won't it? Yeah, I just and leave. I mean, you can flush them hot in about 12 minutes. Yeah, so if yeah. you want to do it that way, yeah. um, wait until you get pressure on the gauge and then flush until the blue fill light comes right, on okay. yep. and then stop flushing because otherwise okay. obviously you start pulling cold yep. water through it and do that six times and you'll be up to um, temperature in 12 minutes. To be able to pull the fish on yeah, yeah. But start playing with it. The, be the best way I think is just. Turn it on, leave it alone for an hour. Yeah, okay. come back. Yeah, sort of There's yeah. no flat, you know. Yeah, you go. Yeah, no, that's what the do. first shot from brand new, because the, obviously there's no water in here or anything, could be a bit iffy. You know, right, just okay, the first yeah, shot, yeah. but then the next one should be good. I'll probably do a few flushes. Yeah, it's absolutely. Because yeah. you, you will get some some small, you know, lumps of metal and yeah, yeah, dead yeah. water in yeah. oil and yeah. machine oil. Yeah, yeah machine oil. That's yeah. to be expected, yeah. yeah. So um, def definitely flush, you know, the first. I don't know, three or four litres, but the best thing for flushing the boiler is use that. Oh, okay. Otherwise, this will get super hot. If you oh, okay. Do it and times, then, yeah. and then you'll go to pull a shot, and it will just be yeah, you know, yeah. nuclear. Yep. So for just dragging water through, use right, that. Right, okay, yeah. Because yeah. the, the muck won't be in here. It's in the boiler. It'll be in the boiler, because yeah, yeah, yeah. the boiler we've, we've fabricated, yeah. yeah. Whereas the, these have had um, stuff with yeah. us through, so there won't be any gunk in the group. It'll be back here in the right. pipework and whatnot. Um, and you can flush that through just as easily. Um, that, and then just yeah, the first couple of coffees, probably just biff them. Right, first yeah. couple of espressos, and off you go, okay. All right, oh, good stuff. No, excellent. Thanks for your business. Thanks a lot, Reese. Very okay. good. We'll be in touch. Stay in touch. Cheers. Cheers.